The polar bear, Ursus maritimus, is a hypercarnivorous bear whose native range lies largely within the Arctic Circle, encompassing the Arctic Ocean, its surrounding seas and surrounding land masses. It is the largest extant bear species, as well as the largest extant land carnivore. 67 a boar, adult male, weighs around 35700 kilograms, 771540 pounds, well as so, adult. Female is about half that size. Although it is the sister species of the brown bear it has evolved to occupy an error. Ecological niche, with many body characteristics adapted for cold temperatures, for moving across snow, ice and open water, and for hunting seals, which make up most of its diet. Although most polar bears are born on land, they spend most of their time on the sea ice. Their scientific name means maritime bear and derives from this fact. Polar bears hunt their preferred food of seals from the edge of sea ice, often living off at reserves when no sea ice is present. Because of their dependence on the sea ice, polar bears are classified as marine mammals. Because of expected habitat loss caused by climate change, the polar bear is classified as a vulnerable species. For decades, large-scale hunting raised international concern for the future of the species, but populations rebounded after controls and quotas began to take effect. For thousands of years, the polar bear has been a key figure in the material, spiritual, and cultural life of circumpolar peoples, and polar bears remain important in their cultures. Historically, the polar bear has also been known as the white bear. It is sometimes referred to as the nanook, based on the Inuit term nanook. Polar bear population sizes and trends are difficult to estimate accurately because they occupy remote home ranges and exist at low population densities. Polar bear fieldwork can also be hazardous to researchers. As of 2015, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, reports that the Global population of polar bears is 22,000 to 31,000, and the current population trend is unknown. Nevertheless, polar bears are listed as vulnerable under criterion A3C, which indicates an expected population decrease of E30% over the next three generations, 34. Five years, due to decline in area of occupancy, extent of occurrence and or quality of habitat. Risks to the polar bear include climate change, pollution in the form of toxic contaminants, conflicts with shipping, oil and gas exploration and development, and human-bear interactions including harvesting and possible stresses from recreational polar bear watching. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the polar bear is important as an indicator of Arctic ecosystem health. Polar bears are studied to gain understanding of what is happening throughout the Arctic. Because at-risk polar bears are often a sign of something wrong with the Arctic marine, Ecosystem. Warnings about the future of the polar bear are often contrasted with the fact that worldwide population estimates have increased over the past 50 years and are relatively stable today. Some estimates of the global population are around 5,000 to 10,000 in the early 1970s. Other estimates were 20,000 to 40,000 during the 1980s. Current estimates put the global population at between 20,000 and 25,000 or 22,000 and 31,000. Despite the encouraging rebound of some populations, there is little evidence to suggest. Polar bears are thriving overall. There are several reasons for the apparent discordance between past and projected population trends. Estimates from the 1950s and 1960s were based on stories from explorers and hunters rather than on scientific surveys. Second, controls of harvesting were introduced that allowed this previously overhunted species to recover. Third, the recent effects of climate change have affected sea ice abundance in different areas to varying degrees. Debate over the listing of the polar bear under endangered species legislation has put conservation groups in Canada's Inuit at opposing positions the Nunavut government and many northern residents have condemned the U.S. initiative to list the polar bear under the Endangered Species Act. Many Inuit believe the polar bear population is increasing. Thank you for the and good follow up to encourage me to commercial continue. sport hunting. Please are subscribe to, to the channel and press the bell to their button so that you can receive all new.